All right, I just wanted to show you the different materials for math that are gonna come in your bag today when I drop it off at your house. So everybody is going to get something that looks like this, this clock, and you have the digital down here, and the surround one is called an analog clock, and it's inside this plastic page protector, because that means you can use it over and over again, because otherwise if you just write on paper, even if you erase, it can be hard to see. So if you have a whiteboard marker or a dry erase marker, you can write right on it, for example, two o'clock, and then when you're done, you can just rub it right off. You might wanna use like a paper towel or something to make sure that it rubs off perfectly. And then I also gave you in your bag some popsicle sticks and some Play-Doh, a little container of Play-Doh. So I think when you get your bag, you're actually going to have a popsicle stick like this and a mini popsicle stick. Mrs. Waxer is bringing me a special delivery tomorrow. But these are going to be the hands of your clock. So the long hand that we see on a round clock like this is what we call the minute hand. So it goes around stopping at every single minute. Usually you see little ticks on a clock that shows you that a minute has gone by. And each section on the clock shows us five minutes. So your minute hand is your long hand that goes around the clock. And then your shorter hand is your hour hand. It goes around too, but it takes a little bit longer because it only moves to the number every hour. And so I don't want you to worry too much about this. This is just, you can start to play with it and check it out. Maybe you can try to copy what you see on your clocks at home because I'm going to give you some lessons to actually tell you how to show the times and read the times on a clock. But I wanted you to have the materials first. So if I wanted to show two o'clock on the clock, for example, I'm gonna put my minute hand at the 12 and my hour hand at the two to show two o'clock. So that's how you can use it with the popsicle sticks. I also gave you some Play-Doh because you can even use Play-Doh to make your own clock hands. So you'll see I made one long roll or hand and one short roll. So the long one, just like with the popsicle sticks, this is the minute hand. So it's going to be pointing at o'clock and then this is the hour hand. And I know that it's two in the hour spot. So it's going to point to two o'clock. If I wanted to show three o'clock, I could change it like this. If I wanted to show nine o'clock, <gasps> bedtime hits nine o'clock. And yeah, I can even use a little marker to write on my plastic page protector there. If you have a whiteboard marker, or maybe if you have cards, you can show the numbers on here. But keep it inside the plastic so that way you can reuse this paper over and over again. So like I said, this is not your only way to learn how to tell time. I'm gonna give you a new lesson every day, but I wanted you to have this clock so that you can use it with your lessons when you're practicing. All right, I'll see you soon. Au revoir.